you want to make an all the mods 10 server. We're going to show you how to do that in this video, but first, we need to have a little heart to heart. You're going to need a really good computer to run an all the mods 10 server. That's especially the case if you're going to be playing all the mods 10 on the same computer that you're running your server on. It's not uncommon for all the mods 10 servers to need 16, 32 gigabytes of RAM. We have seen before. It is absolutely crazy when you have a bunch of people on the server what you need as far as RAM goes. Now, it doesn't mean you're going to need that for your server. If it's just you and another friend, you can probably run your server on 8 gigabytes, especially if you're okay with a little bit of crashing. But you're going to need at least that amount for the server. But you also, if you're playing all the mods 10 on your, the same computer you're hosting the server on, which you probably are, are going to need enough RAM for that too. And you really shouldn't dedicate more than half of your RAM to Minecraft anyway, and all this. You're probably going to need at least 32, if not 64 gigabytes of RAM on your computer to be able to run all the background tasks and everything that are going on while running an All the Mods 10 server. You're also going to need a really good internet connection because you're hosting this on your own computer, meaning that your internet needs to be really good in order for your friends to be able to join, keep a stable connection, all that stuff. That's not as big of a problem, but we always like to mention it. The biggest thing with All the Mods 10, you're going to need a good CPU. You're going to need a good amount of RAM. Like I said, 32, 64 gigabytes to try to pull off hosting a server and playing All the Mods 10 on the computer that you're playing the server on. There will be lag from me with a really, really good PC that's set up to do this type of stuff in this video because while I'm recording, if I run a server, specifically All the Mods 10 server, it does have lag issues, right? So keep that in mind. Even this video, you're going to see some frame rate and things like that because that's how resource intensive this is. Something else worth noting since this is on your own internet connection, anyone who gets the IP of the server can DDoS you, hit your internet offline, things like that. But it's not as big of a worry with this because it's All the Mods 10. You're probably only going to have your friends playing on the server anyway. It's probably not going to be public, but I did want to mention that. But what if you don't have to worry about any of that? You don't have a good enough PC to host a server and play All the Mods 10. You can play All the Mods 10, but you can't host a server and do it at the same time. You don't have to worry about your internet connection or security or any of that stuff. And what if you have an issue with your server? Let's say your server does keep crashing for whatever reason. What do you do? Well, that's where our company, Simple Game Hosting, comes in. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown .xyz slash simple to start an All the Mods 10 server using our one-click and mod pack installer with like with just that, one click. It's super simple, super easy to get your server up and running. And like I said, if your server's crashing for whatever reason, you have any issues, something like that, our hardware is designed to run Minecraft servers, specifically modded Minecraft servers in Simple Game Hosting, so you won't have a ton of crashes or issues. But let's say for whatever reason you add a mod or something breaks for whatever reason, because because you've made a change. What do you do? Well, there's expert live chat support there to help you. Real people that you can reach out to and talk to and it will help you fix your issue and get your server back online and most importantly, get you back on to your Minecraft server. You will literally be playing all the mods 10 with your friends in minutes after getting your simple game hosting server. So again, go check it out. The first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash simple and get the server up and running. Now, what if you don't want to host a server with simple game hosting? Well, that's why we're here to show you how to host a server locally. But again, you're going to need a good computer, good internet connection, all that stuff does apply. Let's go ahead, go back to the desktop here. First things first, I want to talk about this. This is how to install all the mods 10. You'll need to install all the mods 10 locally to join this server. That's with CurseForge or Modern to get it installed. Your friends will need to do that as well. So while you're going through this server, they'll have it installed way before you're done starting the server most likely. But go here and copy this link. It's in the description send it to them and have them get the all the mods 10 mod pack installed because they need that in order to join the server and that's even if you're hosting on simple game hosting for example everyone who joins the server needs all the mods 10 installed it's just how modded minecraft works so have them go do this while you're getting the server up and running from there go to the second link down below and that's going to take you here this is the all the mods 10 mod pack page go to files and then you want to find the most recent version of all the mods 10 here and click on it then scroll down and go to additional files Finally, you'll find this, server, files, the version number, and the .zip. This is what we want. This is our All the Mods 10 server files. It's a gigabyte. So we're going to get it downloaded by clicking on the three dots here and clicking download. Like I said, it's a gigabyte. So it's going to take a second to download. And that is after we wait for a few seconds here. After those few seconds pass, this will pop up or we can go ahead and click save and the download will begin. Once that's finished, we can go ahead and minimize our browser and we want to move the file we downloaded to our desktop so we can go to our downloads here to the server files, drag and drop it to our desktop. Once it's on our desktop, we want to go ahead and right click on this and click on extract all 
and then click extract. This is going to create a new folder with all the stuff in it to start your All the Mods 10 server right here on your desktop. And then once this is extracted, we can go on to the actual starting of the server part. We're just getting the files set up, kind of laying the groundwork right now to get things going. So with our files extracted, this folder opens up. Now I want to kind of just make sure we've got this straight. This is the folder here with our files in it. We double click on it. It opens like this. This zipped up folder here, we can actually delete. We don't need the .zip anymore. We just need this new folder. You can also rename this if you want. I'm going to name it All the Mods 10 Server. That way we know what this is. Now when we open this up, we have all the files and folders here for our All the Mods 10 Server. What we want to do is go ahead and double click on start server.bat. If you don't have .bat here, go up to view and then make sure show file name extensions is checked. I have this little check here. That means it's enabled. If I uncheck it, it says start server twice. It's really confusing. So make sure you go to view, show, file name extensions, and now we have that .bat at the end. We can go ahead and double click on this and the server will attempt to start. Now, if you do get a pop-up like this saying, hey, are you sure you want to run this? Yes, you are good to run it. We can go ahead and run anyway and the server will attempt to start. Now, it's going to fail here. And the reason it's going to fail is we need to agree to Minecraft CULA. But what if the server didn't attempt to start, <laughs> right? Like you're not seeing this. It's not going through all this stuff. A ton of stuff isn't happening. What do you do? Well, while this is waiting to fail, but while this is getting kind of set up initially here, what we want to do is go to the description down below and get Java 21. Java 21 is required for all the mods 10 in order for it to run. So if you try to start that file and it doesn't work, you need to get Java 21. This is different from Minecraft. You need to get Java. It's a program that Minecraft is based on. You need kind of the raw version of that. Minecraft comes with it. You have to install it specifically for Minecraft servers here. And this is what this goes over. It goes through how to download it, all that stuff. I also have the jar fix. It's going to take all the jar files on your computer and link them back to Java, making them work together. But first get Java, then run the jar fix and you're good to go. Now we can go ahead and minimize the browser. This will now have failed. Now you may actually not have it fail and it may do what it just did for me, which is where you can confirm the EULA, but uh, it'll kind of be in a loop, I think, until you do that. Anyway, we now have this EULA.txt file in the background. If you do see a thing where you can press C and hit enter to confirm the EULA or something like that, control C to automatically restart, you need to agree to the EULA. There we go. That's what the issue is. So if we go to the EULA.txt file here, it's now generated in all the mods 10. Double click on it. We can change EULA equals false to EULA equals true. T-R-U-E exactly like that. Click file, save, and assuming you agree to the Minecraft EULA, you're good to go. Now we can go ahead and close out of this. And what we want to do is just wait because now it's going to start. What we're specifically looking for is a world folder to generate in here. Once that generates, the server is started. Now, at this point, your friends can't join none of that, but you can join the server and the server will officially be online. So I'm going to go ahead, let that happen and show you what it looks like when the server's online. Then we're going to launch all the mods 10, show you what it looks like when you join the server, get you on the server for the first time. Then we'll talk about allowing your friends to join. But first, let's just make sure you can join and there's no lag and things like that. So uh, yeah, let's let this generate. So that took a while, about two minutes from start to finish for me. It could take a lot longer, up to 15 minutes if you don't have that great of a PC or there's you know some issues or something like that. But it will take a few minutes to get your server started. Um, once the server is started, how will you know? Well, one, it'll calm down, right? Now, it may stop and like freeze a few times during the setup. That's perfectly normal. But you'll see dedicated server took 128 seconds to load for one. For two, nothing else generated for about a minute here. So we're good, right? We are, we are now probably good to join this server. We also have this world folder that I was talking about. And we can now go ahead and play Minecraft again. We want to use all the mods 10 every time we go to join the server. So we go ahead and open this up. It will open up the Minecraft launcher. You know the drill. We'll play Minecraft with all the mods 10. And then I'll show you how to join this. Now again, right now you're the only person who can join this server, but that's okay. Let's make sure you're not lagging on the server, things like that. Because if you are, it's going to be really bad once your friends go to join. So I'll meet you in game. We'll join this server and then we'll talk about letting your friends on. So here we are. All the mods 10 is open and our server is online. We can go to multiplayer here and then go ahead and add a server. Now I'm going to name this server local host because, well, this is a local host connection. Only you can join using this IP. And for the server address, well, it's going to be local host again, but all one word exactly like that. When you click done, the server will resolve and you can double click to join it and you will join right on in to the server. Now, again, if you have lag, things like that, once you get in the server, you're definitely going to have lag and issues once your friends join. You start adding more and more players, more and more work for your computer with the server. So keep that in mind. It's probably best to just go ahead and use a third-party host like Simple Game Hosting. First link down below, breakdown.xyz slash simple. Or something else to host your server because, well, your computer is unfortunately not going to be able to handle it. Now, if we get in game here, we're able to run around, able to load some chunks, able to play a little bit. Not like in depth, just run around and like I said, load some chunks. You can go ahead and move on to the next step. But first we gotta load in 
on your initial load into the server, it could take a while. The server is doing a lot of work every time a player joins, and so because of that, it can take a few minutes to join on the initial join. If you have this happen where it goes white screen, starts not responding, this is all normal, especially when you're hosting the server and playing all the mods on the same computer. Um, yeah, you will run into all sorts of issues, but as you can see, it worked itself out, and we are now online on the server. Now, I may actually have some lag here. Yes, I am having a bit of lag. Nothing crazy, just a few little jolts, and it might not be coming through on the video that well, but there is a little bit of a, it seems like FPS jitter, but that might be able to be sorted out in my settings. But yeah, definitely, I would probably have some issues running this with three, four people on this server. Maybe another person, I'd be okay running it, but I have a pretty beefy PC. So with that being said, let's go ahead, disconnect here. How would your friends join this server? Well, in order for them to join, they are going to need all the mods 10 installed through CurseForge but you're also going to need to port forward. Luckily, port forwarding is the same for every type of Minecraft server, and we have a guide linked in the description down below. YouTube doesn't like us making 30 minute videos, so because of that, port forwarding is its own separate guide that goes over how to do it in depth, way more in depth than we used to do in our dedicated server tutorials that included port forwarding in them. And there's even a text guide here if you prefer a text guide over a video guide, but if you prefer the video guide, it's here as well for you. So go check this out, port forward. Your friends will then join using your public IP, but don't worry about that right now. This is all covered in this guide. There's also this in the description down below, which is how to fix a broken Minecraft server. This covers mod pack servers and modded servers. So it's worth checking out and getting it set up, especially now that you have a server. Modded servers break often. So having this and having a way to troubleshoot is great uh, when you don't have like a live chat support like Simple Game Hosting to reach out to. This is great. So nevertheless, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below, but enjoy your all the mods 10 server. We will see you in the next video and I'm out. Peace.